Hello everyone, my name is Brendan, and today I'll be telling you all about 10 film terms of my choice. I hope you enjoy, and let's get into it. I'm sure everyone here knows what animation is, or has seen animation at least once. If not, that's pretty impressive. Animation is a film technique of photographing successive drawings or positions of puppets or models to create the illusion of movement when the movie is shown as a sequence. Serious punch! Everyone has heard music in a show or movie before, which is exactly what a soundtrack is. It's the music used in a film such as main themes to add to the scene and make it more investing. Some films already use produced songs and others create their own themes and songs, like this man here, Hans Zimmer, who has created some of the greatest soundtracks for blockbuster films from Inception to Pirates of the Caribbean. Up next we have Antihero. An antihero is a character in a film that lacks normal heroic attributes. They are typically deeply flawed, conflicted, and often have cloudy moral compasses. Some examples of antiheroes would be Deadpool, The Punisher, Red Hood, Rambo, John Wick, Jack Sparrow, just to name a few. Although antiheroes may perform actions that are morally correct, it is not always for the right reasons, often acting primarily out of self-interest or in ways that defy conventional ethical codes. They are usually at the halfway point between a hero and a villain. Antiheroes are usually some of the most loved characters in their films, despite being deeply flawed morally, which is why I think people love them so much. They prove that goodness is not as simple as black or white. The fourth term I will discuss is Computer Generated Imagery, or CGI. CGI are special visual effects created using computer software, often used in impossible visuals in film, such as this background shot of Neo vs. dozens of Agent Smiths. CGI is now used a lot more today in film than it was 30 years ago, and has come a long way from the early 2000s where CG was used profusely, and not very well. Chemistry is the study of matter, but I prefer to see it as the study of change. Now just, just think about this. If you have taken English class before, you probably already know what foreshadowing is. But in case you forgot, it is an indication of a future event. Such as this conversation in Breaking Bad's pilot episode, which hints at the future plot of the show. Well, that's, that's all of life, right? I mean, it's just... It's the constant, it's the cycle, it's solution, this solution, just over and over and over. It is growth, then decay, then transformation. It is fascinating, really. The next term is trilogy, which already tells us what it really is. Tri, meaning three films are, that are related to each other, usually as prequels and or sequels to each other, such as The Hobbit, Lord of the Rings, Back to the Future, and The Matrix. Well, until the fourth movie comes out in December. The seventh term is film genres. I'm sure that everybody knows what a genre is, but to put it simply, 
A genre is basically a category that defines a film based off of its narrative elements. There are dozens of different genres for a film to satisfy every different person's taste. Here's a short list of some of the most popular genres of film. The eighth term on my list is trailer. Trailers are a form of advertisement made to excite the audience for an upcoming film with teasers of what it should look like. So, how is he? Well, you know, same old Ethan. Voiceover is a pretty self-explanatory term. It is a piece of narration in a movie or broadcast not spoken by an image of the speaker. Like me, right now. I'm a voiceover of this film term breakdown that you're watching. Meta. The last term I have in this video is documentary. This is a movie, television, or radio program that provides a factual record or report on a real-life event. Well, that's the end of my list. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. And as always, I will see you next time.